Hey students, so today our topic is autotropic mode of nutrition. You must be wondering why to do this again because we have already completed the whole chapter and if you haven't watched that video, do watch it now. I'll make it put in the description box, okay? But today our concern is not about autotropic mode of nutrition. Instead of that, we are going to discuss its types. Yes, I can see the surprising faces because you must be wondering autotropic mode of nutrition can also be classified. Yes, it is. It is going to be classified into two ways and we have to study that also because I don't want to take any chance even of 1%. So I'll make sure to deliver all those things which can be important for your exam point of view. So make sure to watch this video till the end. In this video, we are going to discuss the types autotropic mode of nutrition is classified into and its differences and most importantly the explanation and the examples because examples can't be ignored. So watch this video till the end. Do like it and share it with your friends. So let's start. Hey students, today I am here with a topic which you know about but not completely. So today I am going to make you understand about autotropic mode of nutrition, right? And now you must be thinking that what is autotropic of mode of nutrition that we already know. So what is the need of this another video for that? But this was required because autotropic mode of nutrition we know in detail, but we don't know the types of autotropic mode of nutrition. Isn't it amazing? We have never ever thought that autotropic mode also can be of two types, right? So this is important for the point of view of exam because in case if the question gets little turned out or twisted questions you receive, then you don't have to panic because you already have understood this thing. So we'll start with what is autotropic mode of nutrition. First of all, we know what is nutrition. So let's revise it once that what is nutrition? We know that nutrition, nutrition is a process of intaking food, intaking food, and utilizing it, utilizing it, right? In taking food and utilizing it, which is a very major function of our body. And the process, how do we intake the food? How do we utilize in our body ha is very different in every organism, right? They all do it differentially. So basically based on that, we identify two types of nutrition. One is autotropic mode of nutrition and second is heterotropic mode of nutrition. So autotropic mode of nutrition is our concern for today, right? Autotropic mode, mode of nutrition generally has been done by plants, right? So especially the green plants because for autotropic. So first we understand what is autotropic mode of nutrition. Autotrophic. It is made up of two words. One is auto and the second is trophy, right? Auto means self and trophy means nutrition. So combining these two words makes self nutrition, right? Self nutrition. Now what is self nutrition? Self nutrition is the nutrition done by itself. That means a person, uh, not person means a thing or certain plants, any organism, living organism, right, are not dependent upon any other organism for their food. They are self-sufficient to make their food by their own, right? So that is called self-nutrition. Like human beings, we are completely dependent upon plants or other animals for our food, right? So th that is not called self-nutrition. We are dependent on others. So this is heterotropic mode of nutrition. But plants can, like they are able to make their food by their own. That is called self-nutrition. Now, autotrophs, see, self-nutrition can be done by using some inorganic substances. Inorganic substances to form some organic thing. And this organic thing, what are we talking about here? We are talking about the food which has been processed and uh, like made or synthesized by plants, right? Generally, this process of autotropic mode of nutrition, when this word autotropics or autotrophs comes in our mind, we always think about 
फोटो सिन थे सिस बिकॉज दिस इज द वन प्रोसेस थ्रू विच प्लांट्स मेक देअर ओन फूड एंड विच इज एंड दिस इज वाई इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड फेमस प्रोसेस राइट फोटो सेंथिस वे आर फोटो मीन्स लाइट एंड सेंथिसाइजिंग मीन्स टू मेक और मेकिंग राइट सो दैट इज वाई प्लांट्स मेक देअर ओन फूड बाय देम सेल्फ दे डोंट नीड एनी अदर लाइक ऑर्गेनिज्म टू बी डिपेंडेंट ऑपन सो दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड ऑटोट्रॉपिक मॉडल ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन एंड फेमसली कॉल्ड photosynthesis so today our concern is not this also this already we knew but today we have revised it our main concern is the types of autotrophs right this is the, our real concern first is first type which uh, is very familiar to us and that is photo autotrophs and the second one is chemo autotrophs right let's understand this once also called photo autotrophs is also called photosynthesis photo sin the sis right and second one is chemo sin the sis right we can also call photo autotrophs as photosynthesis and chemo autotrophs as chemosynthesis right and the word photo means light the word chemo means chemicals okay so we can understand we can see very clearly here that only the one word is different one, like first photo word and here first chemo word that is only got exchanged here and we have seen two different types of autotrophic mode of nutrition although these are all autotrophic mode of nutrition but then also this is different right so we know about photo autotrophs photo autotrophs is something very famous which is photosynthesis i was talking about it so getting sunlight okay so majorly why are we focusing on it because this is the only difference this is only called that is why he it is called photo photo means light also here we know that when we have photosynthesis we need some raw materials we need some raw materials like carbon dioxide water plus mineral which is also called sap we all know that water plus minerals right so this is the two thing as a raw material we use but also there are some conditions required without which photosynthesis can't be processed or done okay the first thing is the sun light the star of today's lecture sunlight and the second thing is chlorophyll chloro fill okay now what happens when the sunlight comes okay this sunlight comes to the leaves basically this happens in the leaves and that is why leaves are called food factories what are it calls food it is called food factories right so basically it happens uh, it takes place in leaves but it also can take place sometimes in stems and roots okay as well so uh, leaves has chlorophyll present in it and that is why it is green in color especially it is a kind of pigment okay so this what is the major role of this pigment it traps the sunlight it traps it traps the sunlight okay it traps the sunlight so after trapping the sunlight sunlight has some energy called photon light energy okay photon and this photon helps plant to uh, make the like using this inorganic material convert it into the organic material that means and the process is 6 co2 plus 6 h2o makes in obviously in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it makes c6 h12 o6 plus 6 o2 plus energy all the products these are the three products we receive from here a very very useful for us and without it we can't imagine the life of ours right the c6h12o6 is also called glucose and the food of the plant not only the plant the whole universe okay 6o2 oxygen our lifeline okay and then comes the energy to do all the works to do this process as well right so this is how they get energy and food by using photon but and leaves trap it 
uh, so that it makes this happen okay now the real question is this, this is photosynthesis we already knew about it and re revision has been done now but the real question is then what is chemo uh, autotrophs because the major role of um, getting the like getting food and energy the major role played here by sunlight but what about the chemo autotrophs where we are talking about no sunlight will be required so how can that be done so let's understand chemo autotrophs so photo autotrophs we already have done but chemo autotrophs plays important role in today's lecture because that is something new which we need to understand okay especially for the exam point of view also from the, our knowledge point of view right so let's understand chemo as i told chemical chemo uh, defines chemical right so chemical means what what happens here so majorly we know that we get uh, we do nutrition for getting energy and through this energy we get the food right these two things we actually require so for in the previous case in that means in the photo autotrophs we have seen this has been done by sunlight photon but what about here here what happens oxidization i hope you must have heard this word oxidization see oxidization is a process when takes place it obviously gives energy right so oxidization that means oxidizing in organic compounds okay this is the process through which uh, the um, chemo autotrophs those who do chemo autotrophism uh, gets their energy and food from right so this is the process now if uh, you ask for the definition definition will go like if uh, the definition will be like those organisms okay those organisms or the process in which organism utilizes uh, oxidizing chemical inorganic compounds to make energy or to produce food is called chemo autotrophism and those organism who does this are called chemo autotrophs right the same way photo autotrophs definition was uh, utilizing sunlight to make the food and uh, getting the energy is called phototropism right the same way uh, photo autotropism because the both are autotropism now let's understand some examples see we have heard about bacteria we know that certain bacteria not completely uh, bacteria are also very some of them or a few of them only are autotrophs right rest of them are heterotrophs but among them some bacteria do photo autotropism that means like for example cyanobacteria right they are photo autotrophs but there are some uh, bacteria which are chemo autotrophs such as let's understand one bacteria is there iron bacteria iron bacteria iron bacteria makes ferrous oxide into ferric oxide right simple thing ferrous oxide is been converted into ferric oxide ferric oxide so in this process what happens we get energy through this process energy is been produced and through this they make their own food so energy they get from oxidizing inorganic compound when we see photo autotrophs there was light energy been utilized here we can see a kind of chemical energy is been utilized this is the major difference between photo autotrophism and chemo autotrophism so basic thing is chemo autotrophism is been done without sunlight there is no need or requirement for sunlight so let's understand some difference between chemo autotrophism and photo autotrophism and that will be quite helpful for you because sometimes they will be asking not about definitions and anything else but the differences so you have to be ready for that also let us suppose we have to understand what is chemo and photo autotrophism so here it is very clear that sunlight is not required sunlight is not required right 
photo autotropism can't be done without sunlight. So, sunlight is required. See, uh, chemo autotropism when we talk about and we talk about bacteria, there are certain bacteria which make methane through this process only. So, they are the only bacteria which can make methane, otherwise methane can't be made uh, by bacteria. So, these are very important process actually. So, sunlight is not required here, sunlight is required here. Now, there is, you see, what happens when we, we are on earth, this process is taking place in earth. So, when we get something beyond the earth, that means the extra net weight we get, right, net gain, this is the energy of net gain. So, there is no such net gain beyond the earth okay but here such net gain is the net gain and that beyond earth means sun from sun we get the uh, extra gain okay here uh, this is a very slow process this is a very slow process but this is faster process comparatively faster process means this is also a kind of slow process but when we compare it to the chemo for autotropism it is a fast process so we can say faster process right uh, here oxidizing the inorganic compounds gives energy and here we get the energy from photon also called light energy okay so phototropism is a kind of like light energy or also called radiant energy radiant energy to chemical energy okay so here this process need not to be done because they don't need sunlight i hope today's lecture was understandable to you and quite easy also and these are these were very very important points so please don't forget to note it down and so that otherwise you take the screenshot i'm just being aside so that you can take the screenshot i hope you have done that so basically these are some of the topics which has to be done by you otherwise it can be quite a risky task that you are just taking something from book obviously 90 percent syllabus would be from there but there must be some of the questions which were will which were will be a little tricky or maybe uh, twisted or out of syllabus you call it out of syllabus but that is not out of syllabus that is out of your book or out of your range that is why here you will get all those solutions where some questions which will be beyond your book or beyond something extra will work hard for that but make sure you also note it down understand it well and do hard labor so that you can also understand it and will not leave such questions and that questions makes you uh, obviously uh, different from others others will leave those questions so easily because they had no choice but you will not because you have seen the videos and lectures so i hope you like this video if you like it you please uh, like the video share it with your friends subscribe to our channel also go visit our instagram channel follow us there there is also some amazing content so let's meet in the next video something more amazing bye bye till then